Hey, welcome to Hashtag Level Up Series Workshop, The Power of One, Engaging in Your BNI Membership. Today we're going to talk about the Power of One system, the five points of the Power of One, and how it relates to the traffic light system, with the goal being your ability to level up in your BNI membership and create more success for yourselves and for the other members in your chapter. We're going to start off with the BNI core values. So BNI in the center is not a core value. However, everything around it is. The giver's gain is the foundation of everything we do. And you're going to find that the power of one, the five pieces of the power of one, somehow relate to one or more of the BNI core values. Uh, accountability is key in BNI. It's one of the many things that is differentiates BNI from other networking groups, from other meetups. And it's one of the many reasons why BNI is so successful. And it's all about building the relationships, always with a positive and supportive attitude. So the power of one, we're going to look at the five pieces of the power of one. First off, one one-to-one -one per week. This is an average of six months, and this is about being consistent. That's how the traffic light system works. It's an average of six months. So it really relies on members doing these things consistently on a monthly basis. So one one-to-one -one per week is 20 points. And we know this is really important because the meeting, the BNI meeting every week, this is for visitors. The 20-point agenda is for visitors. But we do business. We build business with each other in the one-to-ones. So one one-to-one -one per week, 20 points. One referral per week, 20 points. One visitor per month. 20 points. And I'm going to talk in a little bit about what differentiates a visitor and a guest, but how important is it for a visitor to be walking through the door of your chapter every week? It's so important that the expectation is one visitor per member per month, and it's 20 points. One CEU per week, one chapter education unit per week, 20 points. So this is about education, and a chapter education unit is one hour of BNI learning, and there is so much available for members of BNI through podcasts, through books, through YouTube videos on BNI University. It is everywhere. You don't have to search too far to find things on BNI learning. A lot of members listen to podcasts while they're driving, and uh, it's a great way to to be educated, learn more on how to be a successful networker. Uh, so it's twenty points, uh, max points one CEU per week, and the last piece is be in the room. This is so important to be in the room. BNI does not work when you're not in the room. It works when you are in the room every week. So I want to say this, that this isn't really about getting points. The goal isn't to get points. The goal is to be successful in BNI, to live the giver's gain philosophy. What this does, though, is this sets a standard, a level playing field, for every member to be held accountable to. So one one-to-one -one per week, one referral per week, one visitor per month, one CEU per week, being in the room each week on a consistent basis every month. So let's talk a little bit about a visitor versus guest. So what is a visitor? Well, a visitor is someone who has the potential to join your chapter. They're not another BNI member from another chapter. They're not someone who represents a seat already filled by a member in your chapter. And they can only be added to the POMS report the first time they attend, not the second time, because what that does is it eats away at the conversion rate in your, in your chapter traffic lights. So they're added only the first time that they attend. And a visitor, as you know, is allowed to attend two times in a six-month period. So what is a guest? Well, guests may be buyers of the products or services of the members of your chapter. Guests are still really important to invite to your chapter. Guests may be visiting from another chapter, but they can't join your chapter. And they may represent a seat held by a member of your chapter and is at your meeting to hear the presentation of one of your members. Guests are really important. And there are members who do a really great job of bringing guests. So one of the things you want to be sure of is at least one of those guests is actually a visitor. They have the potential to join your chapter. And a guest may refer someone to your chapter that represents an open seat. So guests are really important. The weight is given to the visitors in your chapter. 
So let's talk about how you read the traffic lights. Starting at the bottom, gray members. If you are con consistently in the gray, basically what you're doing as a member is you're just showing up. It's 20 points, you're just showing up. But you're not taking action on any of the pieces to create success for yourselves in your, your chapter. So it's we see it as being someone who is disengaged in the chapter and either they've chosen to be disengaged in the chapter or they haven't received the support that they need from the membership committee. So it's important for membership committees to always be aware of who's sitting in the gray and what are you doing to help them and to support these members in the gray. Being in the red is a very reactive place. It can be stressful because you know you're in the red. It doesn't take much to move up to the yellow and it doesn't take much to move down into the gray, but it's always uh, fighting and, and trying to, to be successful. And again, membership committees, we want to do our best to support members who are sitting in the red. The goal is to be in at least the yellow. I'm going to talk in a bit about what it takes to be in the yellow and really how easy it is to create success for yourselves in BNI. But yellow is a very active place, proactive in the green. It becomes pattern. It becomes habit. You're doing this every month, and it just becomes part of what you do. And it's a very non-stressful place to be within, a, uh, within BNI. So what's the goal? What is the goal in the traffic light systems and the power of one? Well, the goal is to be in the green and the yellow. It's a very happy place. We have fun in the green and yellow. It gets really tough when we're sitting in the red and the gray. And members in the red and the gray, especially the gray, are generally unhappy. And I know in, in the office, a lot of the letters and, that I get come from members in the gray, and they're not very happy, but that's because they're sitting in the gray, right? Members in the green and yellow never complain. They are always very happy. So the goal is take the stress off yourselves, do what it takes to get into the yellow or the green. So what does it take each month to get into at least the yellow, just the yellow? Because I know we've laid out 100 points a month, and that can be overwhelming for some, especially if you're sitting right now in the gray or the red. This is how easy it is to get to the yellow. Show up at your meeting every month. We know sometimes you'll need a sub or you, you, you're away for a day, you're allowed three absences in a six month period. Show up at the meeting, 20 points. It's an easy 20 points every month on a consistent basis. Bring one visitor a month. So if you bring one visitor, the expectation is one, one visitor a month, 20 points. Now you're at 40 points. Just a side note here, if your chapter is setting a goal for how many visitors should you want to have every month in your chapter. Look at how many members you have in your chapter. That's the minimum goal for number of visitors in your chapter every month because the expectation is the power of one is every member brings one visitor a month. So now you're at 40 points. You've shown up, you've brought one visitor. Do four one-to-ones. Four one-to-ones every month because that's where we build business. That's where we meet with each other and learn more about each other's business, who you are, what you do, what a good referral is, how do I bring you up in conversation, what are the things I listen for, bringing your gains profile. Now you're at 60 points and you're in the yellow. There's been no referrals, there's been no CEUs, and you're in the yellow. It does not mean don't do referrals and CEUs, but this is how easy it is just to get into the yellow. It's a very low expectation as a member to show up at the meeting, bring a visitor, and do one-to-ones. And actually, we said when we applied to BNI that we would uh, that we would bring visitors and we would bring bona fide referrals. Right. So you can instead of four one-to-ones, you can bring a couple referrals and a couple one-to-ones. Uh, mix it up. But it's a very basic, very low standard of expectation as a BNI member to get just to yellow. So when I talk to members in chapters and I talk to leadership team members, uh, one of the places I point them is ask for more. Ask for more from your members. Expect more from your members, right? When you set the standard in that way, they'll, they'll live up to that standard. So ask for more and expect more and lead by example. When every member leads by example, everyone else steps up. So again, this is how easy it is just to get to yellow. Show up at the meeting, bring one visitor, do four one-to-ones. That's a mic drop right there. So to get in the green, do what's left. 
bring referrals, right? Do chapter education units. Don't just do the 20 points there, do more. We're about doing more. But if we know that when we stick to the power of one and we do the basic minimums of the power of one, when every member is in the yellow or the green in a chapter, the chapter growth is exponential. The closed dollars in a chapter are exponential when every member is sitting in the yellow and the green. So what about thank you for closed business? This is a question that gets asked all the time. I always bring thank you for closed business. I get thanked a lot for closed business. And what we found is that there's a lot of members who rode the coattails of the thank you for closed business because they brought one or two great referrals, but they weren't showing up at every meeting, right? Or they weren't doing one-to-ones, but they brought one or two great referrals. And it could be a couple of years ago that this happened. So here's the truth about thank you for closed business. Thank you for closed business is a result of doing the action items in the power of one. It's not the goal of, it's the result of doing the action items. All members are held accountable to the same level playing field now in the power of one. The result is, thank you for closed business. The result is dollars in members' pockets of doing the five items in the power of one. So the power of one is about being an engaged and participating member in your chapter. That's all it is. So what do I need to do to be a successful member in BNI? Great question. Do the action items in the power of one and be consistent every month. Be consistent every month. So one of the places to look is look at where you are in the traffic lights now. Do what you did this month. And then next month, add one more thing. And then the month after, do what you did that month and add one more thing. Add one more CEU, add two more CEUs, whatever it is, just keep adding. And after a while, it really does become a pattern of behavior and it creates less stress for you and become really, really successful within BNI. Monthly traffic lights are a six month average. So that's the thing to remember is the traffic light system takes to account A, how long you've been a member. Um, so if you've only been a member for three months, It'll take that into account. It takes into account if your chapter was closed for a holiday. So it looks at the number of meetings. It's a numbers game. So it looks at how many meetings happen in the six months. That's how it gives the average, but it's an average of the six months. So it's always gonna be an average of six months. That's why it's important to do the, the pieces of the power of one every single month and stay consistent in it. So if you're having a challenge with your traffic lights, speak to someone in your membership committee to provide support for you. That is what they are there for. And membership committees on the other side, reach out to those members. Make sure we're looking after the members when you're looking at the traffic light report each month. Who's in the gray? Who's in the green? Who's in the red? Who's in the yellow? Let's celebrate the members in the green and the yellow and let's pr provide support to the members who are in the red and the gray because they need support. We shouldn't be seeing traffic light reports with members sitting in the gray for three, four, five, six months, a year. Same with the red. That means we're not providing the support that they need. If you have any questions, speak to your membership committee, speak to the members of your leadership executive team. Everybody is here to help you. Hope uh, you have got some great information from here. Hope it helps you level up your member experience in BNI.